In this video, I'm going to talk about the three reasons why you don't need a degree to be a coder today. I'm mostly talking about this because most people today are only talking about college and boot camps as these amazing paths to go down if you want to be a programmer. However, there are different paths outside of university and a boot camp that do allow you to be a programmer and a good developer. And by the way, this doesn't mean that I'm anti-college, you know, F college. I do see the value in going to college, especially if you want to work at Apple at 22 and stuff like that. But I'm simply talking about a path that you can go down if you want to be a developer or engineer. Now, the first reason I think you don't need a degree to be a coder is the amount that college and universities and boot camps cost today. Especially if you're in like the United States, it's probably going to cost you around 250 grand for a degree. In addition, what's even more important than that is that you're likely spending your ages 18 to 22, which is four years of your life at an institution. And these two alone, right? Like you're four prime years of your life as well as $250,000 is just crazy to me. Imagine what you can do with $250,000 in addition to four years of your life if you didn't go to college. Maybe you could teach yourself how to code. Maybe you can get an apprenticeship somewhere. Maybe you can work for free while saving that money. In addition, my problem with college is the benefit to cost ratio. Most of the coders I know, they tell me that all they're learning is theory. You know, I was talking to some uh, person the other day on a call and she was telling me how she does not know how to code and she's in her third freaking year of college. And this isn't even the first person I've talked to about this. It's a very common problem with people that go to college because most of their classes and what they cover in classes is the theoreticals. And although they do learn code in class, as many of us know, you don't learn code by watching a video. And I just realized that I spelt this wrong. I should have gone to university for English. But yeah, simply just the cost, the years you're putting in and the curriculum itself doesn't really suit a lot of people and doesn't prime you for the next level of becoming a programmer, of, of coding things you want, of building the things that a programmer should build. And talking to many programmers, I just don't see the real benefit in spending that much money or those younger years in going to college. I sadly went to college for law and I wish I could just take that money back, take the years back and just put it into uh, the things that we're talking about, which is uh, outside education. Now, the next reason why I do not think you need a degree to be a coder is the modern day tools that we have to learn outside of universities. For example, we have things such as Coursera, um, platforms to learn code like Fireship.io. In addition, we have books, social media for people to talk to for advice. And oftentimes because of what our parents told us and because we have this sort of mindset that we have to go to college, we often forget the era that we're in. We're no longer in a place where universities hold the gate to our education. And if you look behind me, right, like I've read books on every subject known to man. I've read philosophy, programming. I've read, hell, communism books. And on top of that, we have like the Kindle, which makes reading books even cheaper. Like before you'd have to pay like $15, $20 for a book. Now I only have to pay like five, $6 for a book. And on top of that, let alone Coursera, which all you need to do is pay $50 and I'll actually show you what I mean. $50 a month for a, an online learning platform for whatever the hell you need. Want to learn machine learning? Check this out. You have as many machine learning courses from education institutions for $50 a month. And if this isn't really like making it obvious where we're going as a society, I don't know what will. I think just because it takes up a lot of effort and a lot of people want to be lazy about this and they want someone to like, you know, tell them they're okay in university and because it's like networking and stuff like that. Um, I just, I don't see the benefit. And we often forget, right? Like, I'm just going to show you my screen. These are three extremely valuable books that I bought on coding and data structures and algorithms. And I'm getting more on machine learning. And we forget that the real education in our lives starts after we graduate. It's not during it's after every person I have talked to who is successful, who has made something in their life, has done it through teaching themselves and reading on their own and educating themselves through paid courses, paid videos, whatever it may be, paid coaching and doing so outside of the institution of college or high school. And on top of that, you may be saying, Nizar, okay, um, but I want to go to college 
to network. We have that again. We have that in today's world. Social media is one of the best networking sites you can be on right now where you can network with people and talk to whoever you want. And for the most part, they will answer me. I've talked to YouTubers on here. I've talked to fellow programmers on here like Vanius is one of my good friends. We just talk. He is a really good programmer. We can exchange ideas. You also have things such as Discord where you can talk to other developers, start businesses, get an idea of what you need to do, what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong. And it's just a great thing in today's world. And the final reason why you don't need a college degree to be a programmer is the outcome that you get when you're done. As talked about in the first section, you don't learn to code in university. You learn the theory behind code. You may learn about a language, but you're not taught how to code. Like again, I know many programmers that have come out of university that don't know how to code, but they know the theory behind code, if that makes sense. Like they're given the tools, but they're not given the actual knowledge of building stuff with code. As many of us know, you learn to code by coding. And I just don't think you do enough of it in university in the right manner. Because in university, you're simply building stuff or you're doing projects for the sake of getting a high mark. While if you're teaching yourself, you're kind of forced to build something valuable and in the real world that will provide people with a valuable thing rather than for a grade. You just build better things overall. And let's say, right, like you went to university and like, of course, you're going to a lot of people learn to code. That's not what I'm trying to say, but you know, there's a decent amount that don't. But in a funny way, both self-taught and university developers are self-taught because they had to go home, teach themselves the contents and how to code and then implement it into their own paths. The self-taught developer might have been for a resume or a business while the person that went to university was for the grade or, you know, getting into a you know, special program. And I think just being open to being self-taught and understanding that you don't really need a college degree to have a good career, to make money and to go where you want to go is really important because I do know a lot of people that are, I guess, have a limiting belief when it comes to these things, but we're not living in the early 2000s, 80s or 90s. Like that's not where we're in right now. We have modern tools that are just as good as universities. And with just a little bit of effort, you can save yourself thousands of dollars four years of your life and just put that into yourself and you're good. But yeah, I'd like to know your opinion on this. Like, do you think we need a degree? Do you not think we need a degree? Maybe I'm missing something. I'd really like to know more. And yeah, happy coding and I'll see you in the next video.